Hey folks, my name is Kess and welcome to another You Won't Pizzazz tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to bring your Instagram photos to life. Check this out. We are going to be creating exactly what you see on the screen here. So go ahead and download the assets in the description below. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up Photoshop. I've already dragged this picture in. So we are going to separate this black silhouette from the rest of the background. So double click background here. We're going to zoom in and we are going to start off by using the magic wand tool and clicking the silhouette. I have my tolerance at about 20 and what we're going to do is right click the image and click select inverse. We have a pretty clean selection here so we're actually going to take the eraser tool and just take out the edges here. Don't do the hair yet because we're gonna do the hair a special way. Don't worry if you make any mistakes we can always fix that up a little later. Press command D to deselect and now we're gonna just get this hair here so zoom in a bit. We're gonna go over to the eraser tool right click and go to background eraser tool. Make sure that this is selected here and just go around the edges here and we're just gonna erase the rest of this background. All right, select, inverse, delete. We're gonna go in with the eraser tool, take this out. We're gonna fill in some spots here with the paintbrush tool. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna do a little test add a new layer here, put it on the background, and make it gray, something that will separate from the black very well. So now we're gonna go in and fix any mistakes that we see here. Okay, so once you're happy with the finished product, we're gonna go ahead and crop this. And just for extra measure, we have some purple around these edges and we don't want them to be purple so we can do a quick fix by double clicking the layer, going to color overlay and making sure that this is black. So this will get rid of any purple. All right, so this looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and save this as a PNG file. Okay, we're done with Photoshop for now so move on to Premiere Pro. We have our video file. We're gonna drag that into the timeline and we're going to rename the sequence. We're gonna right click the sequence, go to sequence settings, and we're gonna change the frame size to 1080 by 1080 with a one to one ratio. Press okay. Okay. Now we are gonna rearrange the sunset so it fits in the square the way we want it to. Okay, here's perfect. Drag the boy outline into the project. And we're gonna plop this on here and see how he fits. He's a little too big, so we're gonna shrink him a bit. And move him down this way. You can make him as big or small as you want him to be, depending on how close he is to the camera. And there we go. Now, if you're happy with that, you can leave it as is. But to make it more realistic, I like to go ahead and go to the effects panel and type in Gaussian Blur. Drag that on there. Zoom in a little bit. He looks a bit too sharp and I think that's a bit unrealistic. So let's just add a bit of a blur here. So that looks a little more realistic to me. And if you'd like, you can go to new item, adjustment layer, drag this on to the timeline. And we're going to just add some color onto both of these elements to kind of tie them together. And there you go. You've got a finished product. Take a still photo and add video elements to it to just make your Instagram photos a lot more interesting. They can be as subtle as you want them to be. The only thing that's really moving is the rippling of the water here, which I kind of like. I like how subtle it is. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it a comment, and let me know what you want to see next. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.